All right, so now I'm going to show you a few simple things you can do to help speed up um, the performance of AccuZip, especially when it comes to really large data sets. So when the AccuZip software opens, I'm going to go ahead and just, right now, I'm just going to open up the demo file by double clicking on open a list for the first time. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the first step to open an input file. Go ahead and double click on my demo file, which is located inside of the AccuZip 6 5.0 folder. I'm going to map the fields by checking use header. And at the minimum, for every single list you bring in, you should always optimize the data by checking this box. We'll go ahead and click Import. And then the Optimize Database window will appear. And then, of course, you can check any or all of them. The ones that are kind of important would be the resize fields and the order database, these two options right here. Because what AccuZip will do is it'll resize your field so they're only as long as they need to be. If your field's too short, it'll expand it. And then ordering the database will order it um, so they're in like a zip code, city, street sequence. So when we're cache processing, we buffer as much as we can in memory, and the cache process will be in a significantly faster too. I'm going to go ahead and click Optimize. It's very quick. And now our database is up on our screen. So when you're work working with really large data sets, there's um, the size of your database is pretty important. So if I went ahead and went Validate Records, okay, and then I can check all the boxes that I want you know, all the data and uh, values I want to append to the database. I'm going to go ahead and check all these output values. So our software is going to go ahead and create all of those additional fields. So I'm going to do it in mixed case, and I'm going to go ahead and validate our records. So what the software is doing now is, is adding all the possible CAS fields, and it's processing uh, the demo file through CAS certification. And this demo files all spread out, We're going at about 200 records per second. Once the process is finished, all of our new fields will be created. Okay, so now our database is back up, and as you can see, after our field is called city, notice that we have all these additional fields that, were, that the software created. We'll just double click on this box so it resizes your fields. And then notice this box up here. See how it says uh, there's lines in it? It's like a little box with lines. This means that some of our fields are hidden. So I'm going to click on this. And now we can scroll over and we can see all of the possible fields that the software added during the CAS certification process. So you have your, your street suffix, your street name. It did all the parsing for us. We'll come through. There's your county FIPS code, your county name, your Latin long, your DPV notes, your vacancy flag, and all that good stuff. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull down the edit menu down to fields. Now this is really important. Right now if we click on the table tab, we see that each record is 501 bytes long. There's, 30, there's 3,111 records and there's 46 fields. So what we need to do here is we can go through all of these fields and make them only as long as we really need them. So like the error number field, if you're not going to use the full error number field, you may you may not even want to use it at all. Don't delete it, just make it, you know, one byte, for example, if you're not interested in using it. Or make it ten bytes. Okay? So what your job in this uh, screen is to do is to go through each one of your fields and reduce the size of the field that you can get away with, okay? and left out this this holds information that may have been left out of the address so you could probably just reduce that maybe to 15 but you can go through here and reduce the size of all your fields especially fields that you may have in your database that are not necessarily address fields because what we'll do is we'll default to a very large byte size like maybe 100 uh, characters and if your your field only contains maybe 10 characters or so um, then you might want to reduce it down to 10. Now optimizing the database will do that automatically for you, which is really good, but there is in some cases our default fields, maybe uh, fields that you're not using, they're going to be our default field size, so they might be too wide and you may not use them, so just reduce them to one. Now I'm going to go ahead and 
click OK, click Yes. So now the, the size of your file is going to be reduced by however many bytes you reduced on each field times the number of records. So if you're dealing with file sizes in excess of one or two million records, or possibly five or ten million records, um, the size on your disk will be significant and the performance of our software will be significantly changed just by reducing the size of your fields. If you're going to be searching on your fields, either across a network or locally, then you can create some indexes to help speed up the process of searching. So for example, here if I wanted to search on company, I could go ahead and just begin typing the company name and it would pull them up, right? It's pretty quick because we're only working with, on this particular list, 3,100 records. But if you're dealing with 3 million records, then your search time is going to be longer, especially if it's across the network. So here's some tips on how to speed up the searching part of it. So let's say you commonly search on the company name. What you could do is build an index by pulling down Edit to Command and build an index on all of the fields that you're going to be searching on regularly. So I'm just going to give this uh, index, uh, or excuse me, this command a name. I'm going to call it index on commonly searched fields. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the syntax. So I'm going to say index on, <clears throat> and the proper way you want to do it is, is typing in UPPE and then the name of the field and then tag and then whatever you want is the name of the index and this I'll just keep it simple and you can do the same thing let's say I want to also include the field named first just copy and paste it and it's not case sensitive but I'm just going to keep the field names in lowercase and that's it now I just click run and our indexes have been built so now when I close this, each time I search on the file now, no matter which field, whether it be the company field, the search is going to be instantaneous, virtually instantaneous, even on records and file sizes of 3 to 10 million records. So hopefully we've helped you out, and go ahead and give that a try. If you guys have any questions, of course, you can get back to us on support at accuzip.com.